Hey guys, it's me, Aegis Morph 4 Today, guys, I want to do the last World Cup preview for Costa Rica, guys. So I'm sorry this is coming out really, really late, guys. Um, you know, I wanted to do the Costa Rica World Cup preview. And I feel like, um, you know, um, I wanted to do this during the international break just because of, it would be poetic. And, you know, I feel like, not necessarily poetic, but I feel like it would be, it would do better during the international break than club football. Because by the time I realized this, the summer transfer window was about to end and the club season began. And, you know, I didn't really have the time to, you know, do this kind of stuff, international stuff. So I wanted to wait until the international break is here. And so here we are, we're doing. So this is going to be a video just with me. Um, I couldn't find any Costa Rican fans, unfortunately. So there were no Costa Rican fans that were willing um, to come on to do VC, uh, to collaborate with me. However, I did have a Costa Rican fan that actually did give me some details of the national team. And I'll be looking um, into that. So I want to give a credit to that person, El Taco Tom. So this preview will not be as long as your other previews. This will be kind of a shorter preview, probably 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and that kind of time frame. And yeah, let's go and get started, guys. So obviously, Costa Rica are placed in a group E of the World Cup, guys, with Germany, Spain, and Japan. And I got to say that this is a pretty difficult group. It's a pretty difficult group for Costa Rica, guys. Um, you know, obviously coming as a part four nation. Um, and yeah, for me, for Costa Rica, guys, the hopes are very low. I don't really see them doing very well. You know, maybe they could maybe get a third place finish, but really, all honesty, I don't really think Costa Rica have what it takes to get top two in the group. They're just, it's too difficult, man. Too, too difficult. And with this being like kind of the tail generation of the Costa Rican players, I just don't really feel like they have in their locker. What I will say, though, is this. I do think Costa Rica will get a point in this group. I think they'll get a point, perhaps either against Spain or Germany, and which could actually be interesting because any point that they get could actually prevent either of those nations topping the group, respectively. You know, and yeah, let's go look at Costa Rica's schedule. So as you guys can see right here, guys, Costa Rica, let me just pull it up here. Uh, Costa Rica, their first game in the World Cup is going to be against uh, Spain. So that's going to be a very, very interesting. And then they're going to be playing against Japan and then that Germany game. So really, if they can get a point here, a win here and point here, they can maybe advance in the second place. For me, five points is really max. I, I don't, don't really see them getting like um anything more than five points um for me that's about as realistic and get and the world cup preparations they're playing south korea and uzbekistan as friendlies leading up to the world cup so it'll be interesting to see how they approach those games you know how seriously they'll take those games um i, I, I assume they'll take it seriously just because you know it's uh friendlies and everything like that so yeah as i said guys it'll be interesting to see what happens there um you know the world cup group e as you guys can see spain Costa Rica, Germany, and Japan. So they're likely going to play last place. Um, but as I said, though, Costa Rica are very defensively solid. You know, look at their last couple of games. They have kept four clean sheets. You know, f like they've kept clean sheets in a lot of their games. Like just looking at this year alone, they've only conceded two goals this year, guys. One being against El Salvador and one being against Honduras. Every other game, they have kept a clean sheet, which is really, really impressive, guys. Really, really impressive, you got to say. Okay. So look out for this Costa Rican team, guys, and that while they may finish bottom of the group, they will give it a very competitive effort, and they will give it their best effort. So let's go look at the goalkeepers, guys. Let's look at the goalkeepers. So goalkeepers, guys, we got Esteban Alvarado, Aaron Cruz, and Patrick Sakura. I mean, this is obvious, guys. Kayla Novice will start in the World Cup, um, undoubtedly whatsoever. There's no doubt in my mind that he will not start, um, provided he's fit, of course. Um, he will definitely start um, for Costa Rica in that World Cup. So let me go ahead and create formation. We're going to just go with the 4-3-3, uh, three, three, I suppose. Um, actually, let me look at their last couple of games. What did they play um, in 2018? Let me look at the 2018 World Cup. Costa Rica versus Brazil. So lineups. So they played in like a 3-4-2-1. Okay. Maybe we'll just go with that formation, actually. A three four two one. Okay, so yeah, I mean, let me put Novice in goal. Okay, three four two one. Okay, so center backs. Obviously, I think um center backs is very obvious. I think Duarte is gonna start. He's one of the most crucial players. Um, this is the list that my friend did right here. So I just copy and paste right here. Let's go look at the players. Um, we got Francisco Cuavo, Duarte. Yeah, Duarte, man, he's been old, man, thirty three years old. Still one of their important players. I think he'll definitely start. Um, yeah. So where is Duarte? 
Um, how do you spell his name? Oscar Duarte. Yeah. So, yeah, very, very important player, man. Very, very important player. One of their best players, man. Um, and the next we have is Calvo. Actually, let me put this screen here. So, we got Calvo. Um, what's his first name? Let me see. Francisco Calvo. Okay, let me just make this full screen. Okay, then uh, we have next one is Ovado. Brian, where is Brian? Oh, he's a left back of the team. I see. So, yeah, let's look at this, guys. So, center backs, as you guys can see, Francisco Qualvo is going to be center back for them. He plays a Cunha score, and then Duarte and Brian Ovidu. He's going to be playing as a left back. So, we're going to go ahead and put him in left back, I guess. Actually, I think we're going to go with the 43. Uh, we'll just go with that. So, let me change Duarte and put him here. What's his first name again? Oscar. Okay. Um, so, yeah, for left backs, um, we're going to have, obviously, it's going to be um, Ovidu. Brian Ovidu. Plays in FC Copenhagen. And then for right backs, we're going to have is going to be Kendall Watson. What the heck? Why is he not here? Kendall Watson. Yeah, I guess you can see. What the heck? Kendall Watson. He should be here. Yeah, he's not here for some reason. So just pretend he's there, I guess, guys. Um, yeah, just not sure why. So this is the guy that he's talking about, Kendall Watson. So I guess you guys can see all the defenders they have. I've got Fuller, Carlos Martinez, uh, Juan Pablo Vargas, and Kendall Watson. So yeah, very interesting, man. A lot, a lot of old players, man. A lot of old, old players indeed. All right, let's go into the midfield, guys. Obviously, in the um, Cecil Borges, man. Obviously, very decent player there. Um, actually, let's do a four two three one because I think they're gonna have a camp. Okay, we'll do it this way. Okay, so Cam is gonna be Brian Ruiz, obviously one of the most integral players, guys, captain of the team as well. Oh, come on, oh, it should be okay. Brian Ruiz. What the heck? Why is he not here? What the heck? Let me do look. Let me just look up the club, guys. Sorry, I don't really know these players that well, um, but I'm gonna do my best to learn here. So then, um, let me just put the club here, bro. Brian Ruiz is not there. Come on, how do they not have their own captain, man? Anyway, so Brian Ruiz will start, and then we have Celso Borges. You'll probably start indeed. Um, uh, then um, let me just show you guys Costa Rica's last game. We'll just see what they did. Let's just look at their last game they played. So last game that Costa Rica played was against um, New Zealand. And let's go look at the formation lineup they went with. So they had Caleb Navas, Fuller, Duarte, Calvo, Ovidu, Torres, Borges, Tede, Benyente, Campbell, and um, Contreras. So Brian Ruiz actually came off the bench. So yeah, Borges I think will start. Celso, Bor Borges. Are you serious? Not here as well. 
Okay, um, then let's see. De Hedo. It's not even there as well. Wow, Yelston Tejeda. So these are the guys that um, my friend was talking about. Um, as you guys can see, he's 30 years old. Probably will start. And then next we have here is Borges. He is 34 years old. He will start indeed. And then Brian Ruiz is going to be that cam. Or that, um, yeah, cam. We have there. And then forwards, obviously Joel Campbell. He's going to be the starter, the stri striker indeed. Uh, he will definitely start. Joe Campo, as you guys see, he's 30 years old, played at Arsenal, man, and yeah. Okay, now for the left mid, um, it's going to probably be Jonathan Venegas. Johan. And then, um, I guess he's not on there for some reason. And then Contra... Us. I think it's Anthony Contreras. Not here as well, man, for some reason. Anthony Contreras is right here, guys. 22 years old. One of their young, talented players. Look out for him, guys. 22 years old. And then, obviously, we got... Uh, Torres, I could also start maybe potentially Ger Gerson Torres, 25 years old. And then obviously you also have um, Benete, who is also 18 years old, very young player indeed. So let's look at the players they have in the midfield. They got Gola, Benete, Borges, Churcon, Gallo, and then you Hernandez, Douglas Lopez, Carlos Mora, um, Brian Ruiz, Aaron Suarez, Gerson Torres, Rowan Wilson, Alvaro Zamora, Joel Campbell, Anthony Contreras, Joan Finnegas. So. Indeed, man. Indeed. So, um, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this preview of Costa Rica, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. How far you think they can make it. And if you guys did enjoy this World Cup preview, let me know in the comments below. Remember, guys, to subscribe to the channel, like this video, if you enjoy. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.